Okay, taste test. Red currant jam on sourdough bread. Okay, so I have washed both my red and black currants, and I'm gonna turn them both into jam. And I've got not quite a quart, I've got about 900 grams, or sorry, 800 grams of each. So I'm just gonna go a little bit lighter on the sugar. Uh, instead of two and a quarter cups, I'm gonna go with two cups to start off with, and then if I decide I want it a little uh, more sweet, I'll add a little more sugar. Now, uh, also one quarter cup of water for each one. And two cups of sugar. Thought I'd make them both at the same time. And, and I've got eight half pint jars uh, sterilizing right now. Don't know how many it'll take, but we'll start off with eight. Okay, so one, and one, and two, oops, and two. So we'll put the sugar aside for now in case we want more. Stir the berries up. Now there should be enough pectin in these that we don't need anything, but we can add lemon juice if we find that we're having difficulty getting it to set. <coughs> I have never used anything but sugar in the past when I made my black currant jam. So I really don't foresee any issues this time either. The red currants are definitely easier to pick, easier to clean, and uh, a little more tart, I understand, so. Excuse me. Okay, well, we'll just keep boiling these until they get soft, and then we'll get back to you. Okay, they're starting to cook up quite nicely. The black currants are actually cooking up quicker, but then again, I've got them on a larger burn burner. So they'll probably be done first, which is fine. I think uh, getting one jam ready while the other one is still uh, getting ready is fine. I've also put a couple of dishes in the freezer so that we can do the set test on these. Mind you, these black currants look like they're not going to have any issue setting at all. Not familiar with the red currants, but I don't think that they're that much different. Okay, so my jars have been boiling. They're in the back, they're sterilized, and I'm going to get everything else ready at this point because I don't think it's going to be that much longer before some of these, one of these jams is ready. <coughs> Looks like the berries just need a little longer to uh, break up. Ooh, they're so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna get uh, my lids and my rings and vinegar and everything else I need ready. And we could start ladling the blackcurrant jam into the jars. 
this will also give me an indication of how many jars I will need. Just set that aside for the time being until I get a few more out of there. Okay, so. Keep an eye on my red currant jam. Make sure it doesn't burn. Get about a dozen jars out of the uh, berries from my own yard. I don't know if I'm going to get that many from this lot that I picked. I might get half a dozen jars of both types, but not just the black currant on their own. But that's okay. I've been making a lot of jam this year. It's just this is definitely one of my favorite. You don't have to pay for the berries, and they're in your own yard. Picking them is still the same amount of work. And the black currant berries are not easy to pick. These four can now go in the canner, the water bath can. And I can 
process these for 10 minutes. While my other channel hooks. Let's see if I can get this one. Well, gotta turn up the heat again. This one doesn't seem to want to set the same. I may, I may decide to add some lemon to that one. Or I can just cook it a little longer because it was on a lower heat setting or a smaller burner at the back. Just give this one a little bit longer. in a few minutes. Well, and because the red currants are a little more tart, I think I'm going to add just a, a little bit more sugar to them. Perhaps about a quarter cup. Okay. That probably will help them to set as well. Meanwhile, I have set the timer for 10 minutes on the black current, so just in case these, those ones are completed before these ones are done. Okay. We'll cook those up a little longer and then we'll get back. Okay, the black current jam has uh, been water bath canned for 10 minutes and I pulled it out and the red currants are almost ready almost ready and I once again I did add a little more sugar it is a little more tart than the black okay when they're all done we'll be ladling them into the jars as well when it's ready okay so picking and canning my current jam is all done I have these four are the red current well three and a half and those four are the black current and I may go back for more black currant because that's what I went there for in the first place. And I don't know if four jars is enough for me for the year. It probably is considering all the jams that I do have to choose from. But I have to admit that black currant is one of my favorites. Anyway, that's my video for today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you and have a very wonderful day.